So look, the reason why it's not printing is because it wants to switch my black ink over. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop this print and cancel it out. And I'm gonna show you guys a little trick, but well, it's not a trick. Because what I don't wanna do is, I don't wanna dump out my black ink. I'm not doing that. So my main thing is this. If you're not gonna dump out your black ink, what do you do? I'm gonna show you guys. Let me go get to my actual print window so I can go ahead and bring up my driver and cancel this print out. And I'm gonna show you, cause I got two prints going on. I don't wanna print a double print after a print. So we're gonna cancel this out cause it's too inside the window. But this like this little technical issues that we go through when we print and make sure you check the drivers and have everything set. So when you actually getting into whatever you print, whatever file you print, you don't gotta worry about it. So it's only really, it says four print jobs. Okay, so y'all wanna cancel that out because it loaded up four times. I don't wanna print no four back-to-back -back prints. I only need one. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on over here. Is that um, when you clean your capping station, I mean your your um your spit box. When you clean that, you gotta be very careful when you clean the spit box because if it still has any type of moisture or excess water still left, of, not well solution or whatever you're cleaning with or water, it's gonna um once once it comes in contact with the print head when you're doing a cleaning and you try to filter it out and it mixes. This is from what I think, because I'm not a professional. It tells the printer that it's using a foreign type of an ink because it's not the same when it comes in because the water mixing the dilutes it a little bit. So what happens is it wants to switch from the photo to the mat, but you're gonna be using the same type of DTF ink in both of them. But the thing is, you don't wanna dump out all that ink and then it brings in a whole nother line of ink so you can print. And if you want to conserve ink, to say if you don't have that much, then you will just cancel the ink change from photo to matte, and then it still will give you a print, and you still can print. And what happens after that is if you fill your inks up, you wanna keep on trying to reset it and keep canceling it out, then let it just switch over and you'll be okay. But let me show you guys what I mean by that. So this is what happens with mine. When you kind of like over clean and put too much solution inside your spit box. So let me show you. So now this is what it's telling me. So what we're going to do with that is we're not going to do that. So we're going to hit this. And once we hit that, it's automatically going to start arming itself to print once you hit cancel. We're going to tell you to wait for a minute. Please wait. And you hear the printer? It's arming itself to print. I don't have a light inside like I have over here on uh, Goliath, because I gave it to the customer when I actually serviced and made their printer for them. And then the light that I posted had came, it came, it came without the actual connector and the remote control. So I had to send it back and they're gonna send me another one. So it's just a little, you know, misunderstanding, but that what that's what happened. So like I say, for this little situation that's going on with the printer, it's like when you clean the spit box too much, you gotta make sure that you get your swabs and get another swab and go behind each channel, cyan, magenta, and all your whites. And make sure you dap it or, or wipe it and um, you know, dip a little solution on it and wipe it off or you can use four different swabs, but I use just one. Just keep damping it and make sure you dry it off properly at each channel. But you don't have to waste a lot of different swabs for that. But that's the little problem that I had. And, um, you know, it happens, it works itself out. So we print out this image, like I was showing you guys right here. Check it out. It's a little simple, never stop the hustle. You gotta keep hustling, guys. So this is what uh, Mammoth is printing out right now. Just something a little short. I wish I had my light. Let me go ahead and put my light on real fast for you guys. So you guys can see what's going on. 
gotta do it like old school and probably get my new light that's coming in. But hopefully we got the color where the color channels are set because I have different ICC profiles and color sets for each printer so I know exactly what's going on. I gotta see where my printer is making that little clapping sound. Something at the top ain't probably fully uh connected. I had to change my cable for my printer, my ribbon cable. Sometimes these ribbon cables, they don't go, they go out. And you gotta change these, so that's why. You gotta change these right here. That's the cable that you see that's on the top going up towards the ink selector. But what I'm gonna do is, once I start printing, I probably got this, this little plastic piece, snap it back on. But you see how the white is coming out? That's my white, it's FOMBTF white. This is all my ink set up, CYMK plus the whites. You guys can see what's going on here. It's no camera trick, no joke. If anybody want this image that's not on the website, just let me know and I can uh, put it on there for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do the website completely over, make it user friendly so you guys can have all the products that's gonna be on. I'm gonna be showcasing some new products as well. We'll speak about that, probably another video. But yes, 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 it's coming out pretty nice. As you can see that thin layer of white, like it's two whites, you can see how the bottom white is laying on, overlapping over the top. It's crazy. Yeah, that's what's going on. Well, it looks like I need to do a, uh, a power cleaning though. Do a little power cleaning on it. Got a little banding in the whites. But this is what you do. You know, we gotta get that trial and error and that testing to make everything look A1. But I only got the white set to 30 as well. I think that's part of the film. Looks like I had scratches on the film. That's what it looked like. Cause it's not banded anymore. But this is a simple little color test. Videos, like I said, they be long, but it's things that you gotta look for. But this right here is a 78, I mean a 7900 right here, you guys. Let me show you what's going on. 7900, 11 channel printer, all the channels. The difference is between this one and the 7890. This right here has two extra channels. It has the green, as you can see. And on the left side, it has the orange, as you can see. That's what makes this 11 channels versus a nine channel or eight channel. But nine channels, I don't know why I said eight. But you get the message. So this right here about to print out. And then I'm gonna go cut. I got it set to automatic cut. And I'm gonna show you what it's looking like, but I'm gonna go ahead and run a power cleaning on it though, just in case. But I think the film had a little scratches at the tip of it. But I can see how this look right here. The white is laying good, but I'm gonna check at the bottom. Still coming out good though, you can see. So you guys can check out what we got goes on here. As you can see, that's a nice, nice vibrant little. I like that right there. So uh, let me go ahead and switch this. So you see, um, what we're doing is just doing a basic test make sure everything is right and the white colors is laying good and it wasn't because right up in the middle right here you can see that's the type of like the white was banding right there in the whites so we're gonna do a novel check we're gonna do a power cleaning because it got back right but we're gonna check that out but it's like the trial and errors that you got to go through as being a printer so this video will probably be longer than what it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna get, get it in there and show you guys 
what it is and what I do when it's time for me to get it in. So stay tuned.